in my last year of college that I was finally able to land a machine learning internship. There were so many things that I needed to know before being able to even think of landing a machine learning internship in the first place and I am going to share all the resources in today's video so that you don't have to suffer like me. First thing is just having a good grasp on maths which I definitely did not have. I was not good at solving tough differentials and Fisher theorem still haunts me to this day. So what I did was I followed this YouTube playlist which is by Andrew Ng himself who is the OG of machine learning for probability stats calculus and linear algebra. I set up a deadline for myself and gave myself one month to completely understand all the math necessary for ML and I finished all the playlists here. Second thing was definitely taking up courses in my college for ML and stats which I did not feel played a very big role because I already knew the concepts by then but I would encourage you all to take up courses whatever courses they offer in your college and to give all the exams and to rate your skills because that's a very good way of understanding where you are among all the candidates. Third was following up on courses by Andrew Ng on Coursera on machine learning. It is the course from 2011 which is still very much relevant in today's world and it has all the necessary concepts explained in old school method with notes and with pen and pencil by Andrew Ng himself and his notes are also available in PDF form linked in description. I completed it end to end in my first year winter break and now was the time for hands on implementation. So for the implementation of the algorithms, I first learned how to implement these algorithms in Python with the help of libraries like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib and Scikit-learn. So this is the playlist that I followed and I have also documented all my notes and everything that I learned, all the necessary methods of NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib here in this playlist and I would recommend you to watch it. I took around one week after completing all the concepts to go through all the methods of NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib and Scikit-learn so that I would now be able to start implementing these algorithms in Python. So by the time I learned all the necessary methods, my winter break had ended and my semester had started. So I did not have any more time to basically implement these algorithms actually from scratch or do any projects. So definitely I know it's very important to have projects but I personally did not have time to complete this step so instead I just decided to apply and I really really wanted to land a machine learning internship in my second year so that is why so I just decided to apply blindly so I just started cold emailing profs with my resume which did not have any projects just my scholastic achievements and rank etc and I followed all the YouTube gurus that are already on YouTube and Insta talking about resume templates cold email templates etc but of course nothing worked because no projects is a recipe for disaster obviously so at this time it was already too late and I really wanted to land any kind of internship at this point. So I just went for an industry internship and I must say it was a bit of luck involved as well as my DSA knowledge which I already had. I did not have much ML, just a little bit of ML but I think that also played an important role because I knew some of the concepts and the interviewer had asked me in the interview to like talk about ML concepts and the and the like algorithms that I already knew so that definitely helped I must say and I was able to land a software engineering internship at Google but I really wanted a machine learning internship so while the work was going on during weekends and during evenings I basically was still implementing the projects and implementing all these algorithms from scratch because I really really wanted to get into ML at any cost. One more thing which is hardly talked about in AI and ML domain is basically DSA or data structures and algorithms. How much DSA do you actually need to land a machine learning internship? So for my case I already knew DSA because I had been studying that for the first four semesters almost. In the first year summer break I had started with DSA and the data structure algorithms I went on geeks for geeks which is an excellent platform for explaining all the basic to intermediate problems and I solved all the dynamic programming problems graph problems stack queue linked list everything and we also took up courses in my college as well there were COL 101 there's COL 100 which were really good in getting the base for the data structures and algorithms working correctly for me definitely you don't need hard problems because it's not software engineering but machine learning roles definitely have almost 40 30 to 40 percent of software engineering in them so that is why the interviewers check your coding skills i'm again telling you it's not hard but definitely easy to intermediate level on lead code and code forces definitely give it a lot of time for me i gave almost two to three months in my first year to basically have a good grasp on all the coding algorithms and all the coding skills that we need so that I would have it out of the way and then I would be able to focus on ML. And basically I really 
came to know about ML in my first year's winter break. Before that, in summer break and all during the semester, I was focusing on fully coding. Actually, at this time, I teamed up with a few of my colleagues in a college hackathon and we came second in a very tough hackathon, very tough competition and that really boosted my self-esteem and the link to the project is in description. It was basically about building a Discord bot with some features and some specific ML also we integrated into the entire Discord bot and that again helped us in the hackathon to come second. So I decided to fully focus on machine learning during my internship as well as after my internship so that I would land a machine learning internship as soon as possible. I was obsessed with ML at this point. I made quite a few projects all are listed here and I found a gold mine of amazing machine learning and LLM and AI projects that you can also build. I also built a lot from here. Here is the github repository for that link is in description as well. So after this I created a portfolio of amazing amazing machine learning and AI projects that I wanted for my resume. And then I uploaded all my projects that I had which helped me land a machine learning internship onto YouTube and here is the full playlist. Since these videos are quite long, you can use nodegpt.io, just copy the link from here and then paste it in here and click on summarize. This will summarize the entire video. You can also chat with it and you can also make notes to it of it and make mind maps and presentations. Yeah, so this is the summary it has generated and this is the entire chapter that it has generated. You can create, you can chat here and you can create a mind map here, which is awesome and helpful to remember all the concepts. And you can also create presentations as you can see right here. And this will help you to create any kind of like templated presentations, choose any kind of template as you want quite pretty and you can also edit it as you want. Now the problem was landing off campus internships. As you know, none of the IITs and in of the colleges, data science and AI ML roles are not that much. So. I could not rely on on campus completely and I decided to go for off campus and there's actually a rule in our college that basically if you're going for off campus and you cannot sit for on campus but so many of us just you know ignored that rule and you know I was one of them so I just decided to go for off campus and just lock in and just send out as many applications as possible at one point I was like sending out applications in the morning in the evening in the at night in the early morning dawn like I send out five applications per day at a time it was I remember it was like almost 300 plus applications I was sending out because I really really wanted to land a machine learning internship it didn't matter it was an MNC big tech company or a small startup or whatever it was but I just wanted experience and I just wanted hands-on application I mean and you also know right off campus has millions of candidates your college definitely does help I agree but still your college does not get that much exposure because you are competing against a sea of candidates so exactly I had to do something crazy so that's when I started slowly slowly gathering all these my portfolio folios and you know posting on LinkedIn because I wanted exposure and also I did not have that many followers on LinkedIn at that point of time because I had just started LinkedIn now obviously if you are sending out so many applications you will definitely land interviews and I did so this basically I got this idea of gaining exposure from a career counseling session on top mate and I don't want to gatekeep so I am sharing all the resources and all the secrets that I learned from these sessions so definitely subscribe I also basically started searching on LinkedIn with this and this helped me land the jobs because here as you can see it filters out all the candidates and all the startups and all the people who are looking for looking to hire people in machine learning and AI startups. So now when I started giving interviews I realized that there were a couple of things that I was not good at and I needed to improve. So one of them was definitely I was not able to explain the concepts in depth because I did not have that much depth because I had mostly learned from YouTube playlists and all. So I needed the way to visually understand this. So then this playlist helped me to understand all the concepts in depth because they have an extremely well visual logic explainer and I was able to understand how LLMs work, how neural networks work, how the back propagation works, all these concepts very thoroughly. Second thing was definitely system design. I did not know system design at all, especially machine learning system design and this playlist helped me to understand the machine learning system design in depth and I would recommend all of you to go through this one and link is in description and it was really really good because it helped to explain all the concepts in great detail and all the like there's LinkedIn feed uh, recommendation system, there's YouTube recommendation system. 
and so many things that are available here and i would encourage you to go through this last but not the least was definitely giving mock interviews and i would recommend you all to give mock interviews as much as possible because this ai and ml interview is not like your regular dsa interview where you just answer coding questions and pair program and all this is more about knowing the concepts being able to debug problems ml problems when given and asking you to basically why you are choosing this algorithm what parameters what hyperparameters what features how to engineer the features and all this and i will suggest you to definitely check out my mock ml ai interview as well so that's when i basically landed my first ever machine learning internship at turbo ml the salary was 1 lakh per month and it was completely remote which was really awesome and i was so able to do this internship alongside my college studies in my last semester which is the 8th semester we did not have that much load because i had already taken off all my electives and all the courses that were needed for the core courses and everything before like till the 7th semester because i wanted the last semester to do and fully focus on a machine learning internship i hope you enjoyed the video and definitely if you liked it click hit like and subscribe um, for more such videos